Kayak Fishing Tales is brought to you by Werner and their new Hook Series of Kayak Fishing Paddles. The Hook Series of Paddles are available in the Kamano, Shuna, Skagit, and Tybee and come in two fish attracting colors. The best kayak fishing paddle is a great paddling paddle, a Werner paddle. A properly fitting PFD can mean the difference between life and death. And that's what we're going to talk about in this week's kayak fishing tip. All right, Jim, so if I was going into a good paddle shop and wanted to pick out a good PFD, what's the very first thing I want to look for? Well, the thing is you want to have one that's really comfortable, because if it's comfortable, you're going to wear it. And that, that to me is key, because people get them that are the wrong type of PFD, they're not comfortable, they don't wear it. So of course, having one that fits you properly. All PFDs are marked with sizes on the inside. So you want to make sure that you are getting the proper size for your body and then adjusting it properly. I can't tell you how many people we see go in the water and the next thing you know, they're PFD. Seen it a hundred times. Okay, so this one's a large, extra large. That's definitely me. Let's put this on and show folks how to get it adjusted correctly. So one of the main things here is you don't want it way down on your body. I see guys who have these things and they're way down really low. Well, A, that isn't as gonna be as comfortable in your seat, right. but it also is not gonna be, in, as soon as you hit the water, it's gonna be up here. You don't want all that. So first off, you wanna clip it in and zip it up. And, and the, the thing that I always tell people when they put on their PFD is you want the PFD to move with you. Yes. You don't wanna move inside of it. No, and this one right now, definitely a wiggler. And if I went in the water, I wouldn't be able to breathe. <laughs> So exactly. this is so comfortable, it's got to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But once you cinch it down and it moves with you, you're going to get a lot less chafing. You do. And again, if you do go in the water, and I experienced this myself. I grabbed somebody else's PFD on a river, and I went in the river, got recirced, and I almost drowned. And a lot of that was because of the PFD. I would come above the water, and the PFD was over my face. So. I learned the hard way like a lot of people have. So first off, what I like to do is adjust the shoulder height. So these are really easy, these coke tats, you just have the straps up here and get it to the proper height. And they're very simple. I usually go, this has the, this is the coke tat bahia. There are three straps on here. I usually go from the bottom up. But once it's on, it's comfortable. And again, it's not going to be going over my head. Now I would let Sean adjust it himself to where he's comfortable. I don't want to cinch it down on him, but get it so it's snug. You need to wear it snug. I can't say it often enough. And I think it's like anything else, even like a car seat belt. And when they first came out, you know, and people really wearing them, it feels weird. Now, if I'm in a big baggy uh, PFD, if I'm on the road or whatever, and I don't have my personal one, it feels weird for it to not fit right once you're used to having one that's properly adjusted. So I think to get this to not ride up, Jim's got it so high. The Did tape too high on you? It's too high. The taper would be impossible. So you're going to make it a little bit lower. Now it's not going anywhere. Now do you feel like you can barely breathe? That's where you want it. So when he goes in the water, you can see this is snug. That, I, I'm lifting up on this and it's not <laughs> pulling up over his yeah. head. And that's what you want. want. And again, when you're paddling all day, this is moving with, with you. you, it becomes part of your body and you're not gonna get all this rubbing. You wanna make sure you're getting a paddling PFD. I mentioned that before. A lot right. of people, I see people with like water ski vests. Well, yeah. those things are made for rib protection and all other kinds of things, cause you're standing up. So they're very long. You're sitting in a kayak with something like that, it's very uncomfortable. So a paddling PFD, very short waisted. So when you're sitting down, it's not pinching. The uh, Coke Tap Bahia is uh, thinner in the lower back so it's not affecting your seated position, so it's not kicking you forward, and it's much more comfortable in the sit-on-top kayaks. This one's got a nice um, radio pocket. We all carry VHF radio, so it's got that. It's got a couple other small pockets. They're also very open on the sides, so you don't have all this flotation. A water ski vest has rib protection, actually, yeah. um, where this one, you don't really want that. You want freedom of your arms. So you have good movement. It's cut narrow here, so you have good movement here. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, is having good freedom of mo movement with your arms. Kokutat has a PFD that's going to fit anybody. You can check out all of their great PFDs at kokutat.com.
For outstanding customer service, expert advice, and an extensive selection of quality kayak fishing products, visit Hook One at kayakfishinggear.com.